Good day ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in this short video we're going to look at how we enter some data into our spreadsheet and how we start to format that data too. So a couple of things we're going to start off with. First of all, how do we actually enter data into our cells? So if I click on a cell, I'm going to click on this one here which is in B2. There's a couple of different ways we can do this. The first thing I can do is just start typing. So I could put Mr. Sala here. Okay, and then you can see that whatever I've typed has also appeared in the formula entry bar. Another way to do this would be to click on a different cell, and then if I wanted to enter some longer text, I could click on the formula bar here and then type uh, loves computer. Okay, now so you can see that this cell here, uh, C2, the text has gone outside of the cell rectangle. And that's fine at the moment, but if I click on this cell D2 and type in, not moths, they're okay, and maths, you can see that what's happened now is that D2 has overwritten the end of C2. Now if we look back in this cell here, if I click back on this cell, you can see that the text loves computing is still there. We just can't see it because it's being hidden by D2. So what we need to do is to, if I move my mouse up to the very top of the headers here, the column headers, and you can see that the mouse cursor has now changed. I'm just going to drag that out over to here and now we can see both. Okay, so the next thing we may want to do, once we've got some text into our cells, is we probably want to make uh, change the fonts. So what I'm going to do is to click on a cell, and then I'm going to go up to here to the font selector, and maybe pick a nice uh, Consalis font. Um, and also, I'm going to make it uh, change the font size to be a lot larger, so I'm going to change the font size to a 20. Okay. So now you can see that the height has automatically changed, but I can change it even further by editing the row height just by moving the mouse onto the left hand side and changing it up and down again. So as you can see, changing this font size has now covered up this part of the text. So once again, we just need to uh, change the column. Uh, one thing that we can do is double click on the column width and that will automatically change it to the correct width. So let me do that again. That goes to there and I can either drag it to the width that I want or double click and it'll automatically go to the width that I want it to be. Okay, so uh, that's changing the font and changing the font size and changing the cell size. Uh, the, other th ne the next thing we can look at is how to change the color. So there's two things we can do for the cell. We can either change the color of the text, which is this button here with the A. So maybe I want my color to be red. And then we can change the background color as well, which is the paint color. I just want that to be maybe a nice blue. The next uh, formatting functions that we can look at are how do we align cells, how do we align the text within a cell. So if I make the Loves Computing quite wide, you can see that at the moment Loves Computing is aligned to the left hand side of the uh, cell. Um, and also if you make the cell quite high, you can see it's aligned to the left and to the bottom. And what we can do is these three buttons here will align it to the top and to the middle and then the bottom. And then these buttons here align it to the left, to the middle and to the right. So if you want something to be right smack bang in the middle of the cell, you can click both of these two and then Love's Computing will appear always in 
the middle of the cell. Okay. Uh, the next thing that we're going to look at for formatting is how we would create a table or how we create borders. So if I just create this cell a little bit wider now, we can see that Mr. Sala loves computing and maths. What I can do is highlight all three cells. So I'm just clicking and dragging over the three cells. And then I'm going to click this border button here. And then I've got choices of different borders. So this one will only put the border around the outside. Or I can click them all again and put a border around all of the cells that I've selected. Or maybe I just want to kill all of the borders, but just put a border along the bottom. Like that. Okay, so that's borders. Uh, then when we look at the text, so here we have loves computing. Maybe I want that to, to be bold or italic or underline. Or this is called strike through. And we use it a lot when we have things like um, tasks that we've done or things that have been completed, then we can put strike through. It just puts a line through the text just to show that if this was a task, it's been done. Or that maybe Mr. Sala no longer loves computing, but don't worry, I still do. So that's how we can format individual cells, all the things we can do to format individual cells. There's a couple of things that we can do to format the whole sheet. So if we click in this top left hand corner here, that selects the whole sheet. And then maybe I want to pick a background color of this kind of yellow to make it look like a, an old legal pad. Um, other thing that we can do, so for instance, if I don't have that fill color, we can see here that we've got these grids. If I turn the view, if I click on the view, then actually I can click off the grid lines, and that just hides the grid lines, and I can click off the headings. So that now looks like quite a nice form. That we It doesn't actually look like a spreadsheet anymore, now it looks like a document. So for instance, we can do something like enter your name here, and then maybe put a border around this bit, just to show that and make it yellow to show that this is where you have to enter your name okay so this is these are the things that we can do to format our spreadsheet um, as always I look forward to seeing what you can produce